four are filled, two more to be filled. And how about this, the double Falcons matchup. Nando and turnaround for 2,500 bucks. A handoff to Tevin Coleman on first down. Turnaround in the red jerseys. On offense to start the game, Nando starting defensively in the white. An opportunity to set the tone early. Oh, misses on the head stick. And that gives Freeman some room. He's got a spin move. He's got a big chunk of yards. Give him 13 on the, or 19 on the play, excuse me. And that is concerning if you're Nando defensively. You can't be missing hit sticks in the gap. Hey, white, white. Hey, let's go. And one thing that I was told, the scouting report from my guy Lawrence out there on turnaround, he says, you're going to see turnaround run some unique formations. You'll see him in some of this Falcon trio, but he'll also mix it up and just much like Mr. Hitstick, run a lot of different things that some of these competitors might not be used to seeing. As, you see, as I say that, he goes to the strong close formation. I love these styles of play, Rico. When guys can get out here and mix it up and run some things that aren't the obvious meta, it always makes the game that much more fun to watch, and he cooks up a crispy dot. I can't help it. Every time I see that, I think about my man, Ivy Strafen. He's one of the first ones I see to just use a little bit of everything. It keeps your opponents off balance, and it doesn't allow them to really key in anything you want to do on offense. And now Mr. Hit Stick in the Oh, that's a good stick. RG, we were talking. How about Mr. Hitstick, the performance today? Uh, I'm, I really am looking forward to seeing him in Madden 20 because I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned. Oh, absolutely. He's got he's got the skills on the sticks. He, he's an awesome person. If you've just sat down with him for five minutes, it's easy to see how good a dude he is. And Nando cracked him! Nando cracked him! He's got it! He's got it! On Nando with the fumble recovery! Deion Jones getting in there to pick up the ball and the first momentum swing of the day going to Nando. He said he is the Jay-Z of regulars. I will not lose. Oh, man. Well, that was a moment of clarity right there. It looked like Turnaround was going to spin himself all the way down the field. He was looking icky. And when I talk about punch him in the mouth football, that's that exactly it. what I'm talking about. As W would say, that was physical. Rico, I was talking with uh, Jay yesterday. You and I were both talking to him. And, and, and so here's the question. With the meta as it is, the gun bunch, the trips, tight end, would you rather be, let's say, the fifth or sixth best person in one of those two formations? Or would you rather be the best person in a unique formation that maybe isn't as good, as effective as trips or as bunch, but you are better than anybody at that and you're at that comfortable in that? So let me equate a name with that. So you're asking me, would I rather be Ghost Madden or Strafen? Yeah. I'm going to go Strafen. Because what I hear is, even if you have the tape, you still don't know what's going to come, when it's going to come, or how it's going to come there. You're always keeping your opponent off balance. And RG was breaking this down the other day. The top players know every single thing about the meta formations and plays. They know your reads, your wants, your looks, and they are lurking all of that. Oh, big hit. Coleman broke the first tackle, looking like he's going to be dancing down the field, and Vic Beasley comes up and goes, not so fast, my friend. And that's rough for Nando. You saw in the last play, he was able to get down, protect this ball carrier, not trying to get greedy. This time doesn't even get the opportunity to, to, to lay down with the ball carrier. The defense was in the backfield so fast. Big hit stick right there from turnaround. Now Nando's got himself in the second and 11. Anytime you can avoid taking those hits like you did that play before, you want to do it. But sometimes they're just in that backfield too quick. Boy, this front seven of the Falcons, so tough to get a running game against because there's so much speed, the sheds are so quick, and those linebackers. Joe Rice saying some series is the best example, not Strafe. How fun was some series to watch? Got a shout out to North Brunswick's own Ghost Madden. He said, imagine thinking I don't have the best. <laughs> Good old Ghost, man. He's saying he's not fifth or sixth, but numero uno. Shout out to our guy Ghost. The best players in the community. That's my quarterback. Oh, a good quarterback. You know, he always does well in the in the MCS. Whoa! Whoa! One could hit 
deserves another. This is aggressive Madden football that we're playing right here. This is what I call punch him in the mouth football on both side, from both of these competitors. And I like it. Looking to line up those hit sticks. Got the stick work to pay it off. You want to run the ball, you're going to have to pay for it. Look into the end zone. Uh, high pass. Uh, wow. turnaround, gets his own fumble and puts six on the board. What happened to that boy? <laughs> At first I thought it was a bad read. I thought the drag route was the right read coming underneath. But then I forgot you got Huli Mongoli one-on-one. -on -one. You just got to give him an opportunity. That's what turnaround did. And he's reaping the benefits from it. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us today. Day three of DreamHack Madden. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams at the desk. We've got one more quarterfinal game coming up, and it's a doozy. JS the best taking on Shakobi following this game. That's going to be a barn burner. This is down. One of the benefits of having Julio Jones, I mean, you've seen it just because he's guarded, and th there's a guy on him. Sometimes you can just give him an opportunity, and he's going to be able to make plays. And that's why when you, when you were asking, you know, who would you rather have to start to a screamer right up the right side? That's that was him. That was old. That was, that was like some that Madden 08 contain, pinch your line, call contain scum. That, that then came flying through the A gap. But that, that's why when, I, when you were asking who would you rather start your team with, Tyreek Hill or Julio Jones, red zone is so tough in this game. Having a weapon like Julio Jones in the red zone I think is a difference maker as a pick underneath. Saying, you may not know my name, but you're going to know me at the end of this game. Foya St. Olakun, the speedy outside linebacker with the interception. Turnaround looking tough. And remember, before Nando had gotten that fumble, Turnaround had moved the ball straight down the field. He was already in the red zone or approaching the red zone when he fumbled the ball. So he is living up to the height right now. He has looked dominant. Already in field goal range, too. Good run defense by Nando. That was great defense. He was there through the gap. He had the contain on the outside. He had everything bottled up. Rico, how important is it? I know it's first quarter. We're about to hit the second quarter. But how important is it for Nando to hold turnaround to three here instead of giving up another touchdown? It could definitely be the difference in this game to go down 14-0 this early. And it seems like turnaround is everywhere where Nando wants to be on offense. So you know it's going to be tough sledding as you're trying to put some points on this. You got to hold him to 10, and then you need seven right behind it. The vet move by turnaround. He milks that entire clock down. We're in the second quarter. It is seven, nothing. Turnaround on top with the ball. A great field position. It, just like Lawrence told me too, you see turnaround. He's coming out in a strong close. Seen him in that gun trio, which is much like the gun trips tight end, but he's mixing it up. He's mixing it up. As you see, he's going to go back to this gun trio Falcon. Bouncing around from shotgun to under center, trying to keep his opponent off balance. Third and five comes out. Trips tight end with Coleman in the slot. Hooper standing on the right side of that formation. Freeman on the right hip of Matt Ryan. Reason I, you, a lot of people don't like this style formation is he runs the ball when you max protect out of it since the tight end off out wide split a little bit he's not gonna you're not gonna be able to block him so if people start sending heat you're not really able to block six unless you motion that tight end in and now a fourth and three it's not a perfect kick an opportunity maybe for a block for Nando. I'm not sure I'm going to settle for three if I was turning around here. You had the seven. You've been playing great defense. Why not try to put them away? you got to make it two possessions. Rico. You have to make it two and possessions. And his offense has been even... clicking well enough where he probably could have made it two full scores. Rico, it, 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 if someone you were rooting for ever went for it in this situation... You I got the Kick 
animation to get that, you need to time the click the right trigger as soon as the opponent lets go of the X button to kick the ball. That only gives you a chance to get the block kick animation. Nando got the animation but wasn't able to execute the block. A potential game-changing opportunity for a miss. Let's go. Oh, that's such a big missed opportunity for Nando. I'll tell you, a lot of people, you got to time it, and even when they time that jump, we've seen a lot of good players mess up that block. Well, you get that adrenaline spike when you see the animation. And I, one of the tips I can give you, if you really want to practice executing that block, just simply go into practice mode, put it on arcade game style, and practice blocking the kick. When you're in arcade game style, if you time it correctly, you pretty much get that jump snap animation almost every time. So that's going to give you a lot of good opportunities to practice executing the block after you get the jump animation. Little tip out there for anyone that wants to work on their game to make sure they don't whiff on that block. You can also, it happen a lot this year. You can also go into uh, a franchise, run the, the block kick practice mode drill. You're, you're guaranteed to get the timing every time. So you'll always get that animation so you can work on That's using the stick one. afterwards. That's another good one. Third and 12 now. Nando needing something. It's a tough read up the seam into like triple coverage. And now Nando, boy, he's going to go for it here. He needs something to go his way offensively. It's funny, you see him going in the chat about, about the block kicks, and, you know, it's a, it's a debate in the Madden community. You could totally see why, you know, people don't want to have to deal with it in competitive. You know, the, 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 there's the opinion of, the, you know, they're flukes. Some feel they're too easy. They decide too much. And then there's some people that think, you know, they bring an excitement to the game. When someone's kicking that game-winning field goal, it makes it that much more intense. And, you know, when we're putting on a broadcast and we're trying to make things intense, it, it really helps the moment in some Turn around, looking for downfield, big hit, and another stop for turnaround. Nando, is he in a box right now? That's a good defense from turnaround, and he is in complete control of this game. If he can go down now, get himself a touchdown, make it three possessions. Oh, man, he's got room. Let's get Ted Coleman. Do got to be careful. We've seen Nando be able to land some hip sticks. I want him to start getting down with the ball carrier if he starts lining you up. Your boy Savage in the chat. He's not in a box. He's saying dude's in a UPS truck. <laughs> hey, Ten nothing your score. Why not run the ball once again? Ooh, what a spin. Oh, he's got room. He's into the end zone. Tevin Coleman, turnaround, putting on a show here in the top eight. 17 nothing. Nando said he don't lose. Yeah, but my question is, what do you do here? You, you've, right now, turnaround is all over everything. But you know you have two minutes and 26 seconds. You need some kind of points. Yeah, you, you, you got to stay focused in this situation. There's enough time in the game. I think you just got to focus on the drive at hand. You have plenty of time to go down, get yourself seven, make it a two-possession ball game, and that's got to be your main focus right now, Rico. This is why Skimbo is uh, one of the best. Uh, I, and I didn't do it because uh, you've already made fun of me for all my pre-1990 references. He, he made a total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> Lyric reference with turnaround. I've been holding my tongue this entire game. Speaking of Skimbo, Skimbo, hey, I get to OKC Tuesday. We'll have to link up and uh, tear it up again. Ghost in the chat saying Clef and Crit will be a hell game. I don't know why Crit's so underrated. He's had a good year. I agree. A lot of people already counting Kritovin out in that game against Clef. RG's just... You see that hit? That hit was... So turn around. Nice. He is. How about another fourth AKA down now? The real Mr. Hit Physical, he is punch him in the mouth. The real Mr. Hit stick. He's got it all going for him when it comes to tackling on defense right now. This is, I'm having a throwback to day one right now. And ugly. This is getting the floaty territory. Is it, is, is it raining in Atlanta right now? Hey, it's really, really, really cold. Oh. But guess what? Oh. The weather forecast can turn around. <laughs> 23 
nothing. I didn't know the turnaround was for a spin move that he's executing <laughs> incredibly effectively. You got to think. I think he's had the best control of his spin so far out of everybody. Yeah, no, he, he has looked tough. And turnaround might be the best player nobody's ever heard of. Yeah, this is dangerous. When everyone was you know, I'm telling you, he's got a lot of respect on his name. And the, the hype seems real right now. This kid is tough. I gotta, I gotta ask the chat. I mean, 24 nothing. I feel like I got some breathing room here. Yeah, you, you got some time. I, I posted it on Twitter. They got the sumo sphere set up here. For what that is, those are those big plastic bubbles, and you, you get into the big plastic bubble, and you run into somebody else, and you got to see who knocks who out of the sumo ring. Who do you guys got in the cast the showdown between me, Rico, and Nick? Who takes the sumo sphere? tournament is it rico is it nick or do i prevail and then the next question is the eight man bracket that we have who do you like winning the sumo challenge oh, that's a good eight? one that's a good one i feel like shakobi has to be the favorite with clef a close second I, we need to get in the sumo sphere before we get out of here and you know nick, we, i wish we had the coltrane here because i feel like me and coltrane Versus you and Nick in a tag match. You and Coltrane have a better chance of drowning Aquaman and beating me. That's not and true. Nick. That's not true. That's not true at all. Give me the matchups. That's not true at all. That is not true at all. Oh man. Hey, they don't got a turnover back, but it's twenty-four nothing. All I'm saying, First off, I got hyped when I saw that through most. I'm, I'm gonna keep, I've I'm gonna keep it a thousand, with Georgie. You're too nice of a guy to win that. I'm too nice of a guy to win. No, I see you Archie on the basketball court. He's throwing bows. You I'm haven't seen me you, when, when it's time to compete. Gun, gun, you remember? Gun, 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 gun. I'm telling you, the lengths that I'm willing to go to to prove this point, <laughs> you are not who's, willing to who's go Who's that there. coming into the sumo ring? It's Stone Cold with a what, chair. What can you do? You're in a plastic bubble, the bro. You can't you go know, scum. There's no scum. I couldn't disagree with you more. Are you going to have someone like just, push me? Just call hand? me the Tom Brady. Of the sumo, mine might be a little deflated, so I can get a little extra. Uh, and it's not so much That's of the. Smart. No, I don't know if you I'm, can pull that off. Okay, yeah, just watch. No one, you no one, him, he just would, watch. he would go up to the people before running the station. He's gonna sweet he talk him. him. He's he gonna get him the Rico swag. Oh man, what a dirtbag! I love you, Rico. Love you too, guys. Orlando to stay in the game. He's gonna need a touchdown on this drive and a miracle. Might need Jesus, we're not really sure. And I'm definitely going with Detroit's finest Nick. Cole's not going to want to get his Jordans dirty. Nick's all no, over him. And Cole, for the glory, for the cast of glory, Cole would put it all on the line for us. And I'm telling you, Nick's walking away with that belt. Oh, we got to set this up at some point. Where's Joe? Call Joe. Text Joe. <laughs> Ace text, Boogie, text Joe. Ace Boogie in the chat said Rico jumping off the ladder like Jeff Hardy. Is. Oh, he gets his touchdown. Yeah, Nando into the end goal. zone. Don't call it a comeback. I'm not. Because it's, it's not. It's not, yeah. Just yet. Now you gotta go for two here. Come on, Nando. Two, two's big. Ooh. Oh. I, I would go for two, try to. You gotta make this a two position game. game now. Who, all right, here's this. Who out of the eight man bracket, like you said, Rico, chat, who do you got winning the Sumo Sphere tournament if we just went with the eight man bracket that we started today? So that's Clef. You got Joke. You got Kratobin, you got Mr. Hitstick, Nando, Turnaround, JS the Best, and Shakobi. It's Shakobi and Clef meeting in the finals. And it's just, do you like size or do you like strength? That's funny. I, I, I'm going with Clef for mine. Oh, that's... Oh, oh no. Turnaround. Oh, no. That's the real deal. He's the Has real Nando deal. seen a spin move in He's that night? Him. Look at Turnaround. He's up. He's talking. Has Nando a spin move in Madden 19? Here's the thing. He oh, has. he's talking. But have you noticed how every time Turnaround has done the spin, it's been effective. He's spun the right way <laughs> oh, at the right God. time. Disgusting. Whereas a lot of these other disgusting. spins have been into the tackle, have been... Rico, don't call it a comeback. Because it's really not. How, I mean, the spin, it's like a double spin with a branch out. Oh, gee. He's going to have to go through rehab once Madden 20 comes out. Now, I, I don't know if he'll be pulling that off. Take advantage while you can. I was. 
and probably last with the good call. He's going with Shakobi. Who went for problem one with Shakobi? No, probably last. Hey, let's go. Yeah, so we, we saw Mr. Hitstick and Kratobin. What did they score? Hey, 20 way. points combined? Hey, yeah, look at this, right? 23. Yeah, he put up 31 in the first half. And isn't done. All right, so here's the, here's the next question. 11 seconds left. Who knows what happens here? But if it stays at this sort of distance, when's the earliest you think you get a GG? It's an elimination. Just, you know. I, don't, I don't think Nando taps. You think Nando he's just that, plays that until the end? That doesn't seem to be him. He's going he's to play this out to the end. Seven seconds and counting. If he, if he went up 38-7, I think, think tap tap. When, when do you tap, RG? 38-7. Even though it's another half to go? Oh, it's good. If he, if he got the, yeah. I don't know. I, I was, I was. A, so it's 31-10. I, I was a stubborn bastard back when I was playing. I, <laughs> I wouldn't have. Doesn't Nando get the ball? No. I've lost, I've lost I've track. No, the number of no, 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 turnovers and possessions, the kick is up. So he's not there. Nando gets the ball. Gets the ball. started off with the hit stick. So if he can score, he's down 14 with a quarter and a half left, maybe? I've seen worse. That field goal was big. I mean, it, yeah, so right now, it's bad. I was assuming if it was 38-7, that, that, that's when you would have to think about uh, doing the good old tap out. Once again, appreciate everybody out here at DreamHack. Appreciate everybody in the Twitch chat. Spending your Sunday, a little Madden football. Day three of DreamHack's inaugural Madden tournament, and it has been a wild ride. Is that Clef's mom in there talking trash? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I hope so. That I've never great. wanted anything more in my I, life. I thought Sirius Mo was the only one who got in there and got it. But that could be fun. We got to find out from Clef if that's his mom repping for him. Nick Mazesco, RG Rico Williams at the desk. Our third of four quarterfinals. We got one more quarterfinal to go. It's going to be a great game. JS the best taking on Shaklutchy. Go See how clutchy is. Money game. It's going to be good. Go for it in the chat. Made a good point, too. You see Nando in this dude's close of running the ball. I mean, he, he's obviously a running type player, so being down 21 points, this it doesn't, being down 21 doesn't fit anybody's style of play, but it, it really makes it strenuous on him. And shout out to Rob Big Grocery Taylor. They said Clefstman was at Players Bowl in 09. Capping for him. Woo, he Wait, got that in Clef? No way that was Clef in Madden 09 when there was like the it was like a 13-year-old kid that made a run to like the final four, final eight, and his mom was capping for him. There's no way that was Clef. Grocery, can you confirm that that was Clef? What, what was his name back then? It was Future, aka Clef. That's Wait, I gotta talk to Clef about that. that. That was a legendary run. This was like the players ball tournament. This is like the gritty. This is a tough tournament from the East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest. Everybody, Everybody comes ball. out to play this ball back in the day. And there was like this 13-year-old kid that just came out of nowhere, and he was just popping, and Mom Dukes was capping. Uh-oh. It was uh -oh. vintage. Grocery just walked his whole thing back. That's what I was told. I thought this was something he knew, something he was there for. I got to talk to Clef. I don't think that Jay, was. I feel like I would have known Clef. that was Clef. But Clef did tell me he went to play his ball in 09. I got to talk to him we'll, about this. We'll, we'll have to hear it straight from the source. That would be legendary. You want to yeah, talk baby. about yeah, someone living up to the hype. Oh, and Evil O just DM'd me. He said it definitely was Clef. His name was Future. That's amazing. That is amazing. Clef just confirmed that was him. Oh, Jay man. Whoa. Clef. I, Clef was, I was already he confirmed, confirmed, but he is That is his built. mom in the chat right now. All That's that, what I need him to confirm. How I said that Clef has always been built and I've never seen him rattled, I can confirm that I never even saw him rattled when he was playing at 12 years old in a hostile environment. That's impressive. Wow. Well, halfback wham, second and goal. Nando trying to punch Wait, his we're in. We're in Dallas. Shout out to Problem Child. 
You want to talk about shout out? How about my guy Magic City? Where's the chat, Rico? Where's Magic City? Shout out Ultra to Magic City. All Almighty. AKA Magic hey, City. Bye-bye. One of the greatest moments in the history. It actually happened in Dallas. It happened in, it happened in, in Dallas. Dallas. When Magic finally won his city. Madden Challenge, yeah. He won his Madden Challenge City. One great user, his cousin, called his parents at O Dark 30 in the morning, said, Man, man Magic won. We're fit to go to church and kick him. Touchdown on the board. Fernando trying to make this a game. He's cut it back to two scores. Church and Kinkos. For those of you who do not know, Church and Kinkos is North Carolinian for Church and Kinkos. And Kinkos. Good times. Great times. And speaking of great times, if you're Nando here, He's you got to get this stop He's here. back. We've been talking. All we needed to oh, do is kind of You need to fumble. He's been getting you gotta, you gotta figure out that spin move. You can't get faked out as much as you have by the spin move so far. All you got to do is guess right once. All he needs is one right guess, and he can be back in this game. All right, here we go, Nando. Makes it interesting to his credit. He's one stop away from making this a ball game. Toss play right side. Tevin Coleman. He's got the edge again. Went for the stop and go there. A little, little, yeah. little step back too instead of his traditional spin move. Just three, four odd. Just You know how mad it is. Sometimes it's good to you, sometimes it's bad. All he needs is one play, and then this whole thing has changed. Another first and ten for turnaround. 14-point game. He right. knows. He's got the advantage. He's running that clock down. I said it correctly. I said it'll be a two-score game with a quarter and a half left. That's when he got the ball. Kill, 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 kill. That year it's run. Oh, yeah. That's all it's been today. You trust that stick. Look at this, though. <laughs> Yo, you want to talk about being stingy? That's a turnaround from running the clock down to one second here in the third quarter. And if you want to talk about... Put it in work. I mean, you're up 14, and you're just milking it and getting that stingy. I like it. It's for 2,500 like bucks. It. That's the mentality. Someone who's ready to win a tournament. This is true scum, and I love it. This is a good kind of scum. This is exactly how you want. You want to give them no time left, and this is discouraging if you're Nando. We always said there's no worse feeling than that. Oh, my gosh. He'd rather take it down. To one second <laughs> and, and burn the time out, out. yeah then hey, give him any Tuesday, extra time Tuesday, Tuesday. one thing you do got to watch out for is Nando has showed us that he has a mean hit stick and he does have the ability to shoot a gap and make a play 12 carries 118 yards and two touchdowns is he gonna be able to take this to the fourth uh no no good enough to have one more snap. snap one more get your fours ready Final snap of the third quarter. It's a toss play. Coleman spins back inside. Good tackle. Fours up. It's a two-score game. Nando fighting. This is the one you have to get right here if you're Nando. This is second and seven. It's the best position you've been in all game long. Look at the breakdown. 18 <laughs> runs, two passes. Rico's got some great lines, man. This oh, thing. big hit. This is it. This is the one. You... That's the Never. best he's done on first down so far. Look, third and four. You turn this third and four to fourth and three, he has to think about it for a second. It's just funny. I've just never heard saying second and... It's just such a random position. Second and seven's the best position you've been... I guess he's been in a tough position all day long, but... Boy, we have seen some great <laughs> runners funny. here at DreamHack. 19 running plays, only two passes. Do you, do you take your shot here and run right. commit? Three out, three out. Yes. Hey, check, check. And goal line? Yes. Oh, that, back dive. Wow. Hit the, that was perfect. Good stick work. Even though it looks simple to just make sure you don't run into the blocker, take the lane that was there, pick up the first down. And a big first down at that where he can continue to milk this clock. I'm going to be interested to see what turnaround looks like if he runs into someone that's got real run defense. That's why I was always scared to be a run-first type player, because when you play on this level, every now and then you run into one of those players that's got that real, real run defense. Oh, okay, look, it's getting better. Second and eight. But now he's in field goal range, guaranteed field goal range. So... Rico giving the big down speech. 
Oh, and now what we got another third and four? Oh, third and three. You gotta turn this into fourth and five. You gotta take your shot, shoot the gap, turn it into fourth and five, and then get that animation. I'm a little surprised you haven't seen a run come He's probably gonna toss. He has all that room to the right. Yeah, there's the toss. Don't give him an opportunity to shoot the gap. That's a two real, minute warning. It to the two it's minute about to be a three in. score game. I love that play call by turnaround right there. You know Nando's looking to shoot a gap. You want to run the ball. You just give it a toss. It makes it hard for them to get that instant hit stick. You give yourself room to go down if you need to. He's just going to take his three. Can Nando get this block? No. I mean, we, we saw it, even when he got the animation to block and he missed it. Turnaround has doubled up Nando. 34-17. Under the two-minute warning. So it looks like, barring unforeseen circumstances, turnaround will face the winner of our final quarterfinal game. All right, so here's the question I have for you guys. Does turnaround have the best spin that we've seen so far in the tournament? Yeah, I think so. Who, who do you have over the better spin? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to judge the spin because I don't think Everybody spin, can. Everyone at this level can spin. Can spin. And here, here's what I'll say. It, I'm not, it's not a disrespect to turn around, and it's not saying that I have another name. I'm saying I factor more the defense than the spin. Because we've seen some big over-pursuits in the hole. We've seen some over-pursuits on the edge, and it's why those spin moves have been a But he's a had some nasty ones. He's had some good ones. He's had some. And not only that, better I than average. I haven't seen him cost himself hey, yards with his spin. Whereas everybody else mm. I've seen mm. has fun and be like, oh, if he didn't do that, he could have gotten here. He didn't do that. I think you got to say he has the best one so far. That's a good point, Rico. Thank you, Buckball. Oh. What do you say, Rico? What, what do you think? He said, yeah, Rico. <laughs> I saw one person in the chat. They said, Rico, skip Bayless Jr. How do you feel about that one, Rico? Oh. I would have preferred to be Shannon Sharp, but I'll still take it as a compliment. Yes, you would. He was one of the top people in his field. Yeah, yeah. He's absolutely phenomenal. Does turn around have one of the best spin moves in the game? <laughs> hey guys, we got a quiet 10-point game, but not enough time for Nando. If he would have got those... He doesn't even onside kick it. Whoa. Why not? I don't know what's up with that. One more quarterfinal to go, guys, and it is going to be a great game. J.S. the best. All right, quick. Turn After this play, is it going to be better or worse than second and seven? Shift, shift, shift. Worse. Nope, better. Oh, better. Let's go. Big Daddy Woods, he's saying Rico is Paul Pierce. We call for the Celtics sweep after game one. Yeah, I'd be feeling bad for my guy Pierce, man. Been catching a lot of flat. It, it was a rough call I after grew game up one. Watching Paul Pierce, man, I'm a Boston fan. Like it was a rough call after game one, saying that they were going to run train. I know the Dwayne Wade thing got kind of out of hand. Yeah. Just a, I'm a Pierce fan, man. How did you want him? The most the people who got on him about that Dwayne Wade thing. How did you want him to answer that? And, and, and I'm sure from his perspective too. Like here's the thing. Pass was balling in Boston for like a while. Like he, he took us to the Eastern Conference Finals a few times with never nobody. Never had Shaq either in his prime. We had nobody uh, for a while. It was him and Antoine Walker. GG's in the chat. Headphones are off. Handshakes are on. Turn around into the Final Four.